cross that road near school, I see a pond, greenish in color because of eutrophication, a little blackish because of sewage water discharge, and multicolored because of several solid waste. Exact ten years from now, when I was a small four-year child, I used to see beautiful and clean water flowing in the pond. Seeing this pond, I've always wondered if I could do something to restore the beauty. Hey everyone, my name is Shreya Kaushik and I am a high school student, innovator and STEM enthusiast. I am really passionate about nanotechnology and fusion energy and how they can apply it to solve real world problems. Now let's continue the story. To find an informed approach, I took River Yamuna as my sample area of research. The River Yamuna is 1376 km river and one of the most polluted rivers in India. The river gets heavily polluted due to discharge sewage, untreated industrial waste and domestic waste with high levels of heavy metals and nutrients. According to the Central Pollution Control Bureau, nearly 359 industrial units directly and indirectly and 42 directly pollute the river Yamuna. But the root cause lies in the submergence of Nazavgar drain which carries wastewater loads from domestic agriculture and industrial sector. Nazavgar adds up to 60% of the total waste and 81.36 tons of BOD per day to River Yamuna. But is there any sustainable solution? The answer is yes. The answer is an eco-friendly floating membrane, which is a combination of constructed floating wetland and nanocellulose based membrane. Now let's understand these. Floating wetlands are artificial wetlands that work on the principle of bioremediation where a particular type of aquatic plants are introduced, are grown on the biometrics and their roots protruding help remove the contaminants from the water, as you can see in the image. Whereas nanocellulose refers to nanostructured cellulose and works on the principle of membrane and nanotechnology. The membrane consists of four layers, microfiltration, ultrafiltration and nanofiltration and reverse osmosis which are arranged in hierarchical level and the small pores present in them helps to filter out the contaminant. Now when you add these two solutions you get an eco-friendly floating membrane which consists of again the same materials the selected aquatic plants at the upper part which are inserted in the nanocellular membrane in the lower part. In the solution we have totally removed the biometrics which was made up of plastic or forms. The solution has the ability to remove dyes, pesticides, microbes and heavy metals and contaminants. Now how is it different? It is different because it is sustainable, has practicability of replication and is cost effective. Lastly, I would just say there is no planet B so let's take care of the earth. Thank you.